Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Prism Plus PL270. The Prism Plus PL270 is a 27-inch 3840x2160 resolution IPS panel with 120% sRGB and a refresh rate of 60Hz. This is what you can call a 4K Ultimate Professional Monitor because not only does it have all the specs mentioned above, the PL270 supports 10-bit color and HDR10 which means you'll be getting accurate colors and great contrast from this. This monitor is perfect for things like video and photo editing, graphic design, 3D rendering, basically for content creation, this is beautiful. The PL270 has an all-black design from the back to the front and to the stand and the epic thing about this the bezels or what they call a zero bezel. The bezels on the PL270 measure in at only 3mm, which is a whole new viewing experience for me at least. With the 10-bit color and HDR10 pairing up with this, watching movies is amazing. Get some high quality files like Blu-ray and it just looks epic. Usage-wise for zero bezels, it really helps to make a multi-monitor setup a lot more immersive because you can put two together or go big and even put three or four of these monitors together to get a fully immersed feeling. Because this one has a 4K screen for those who are working on Excel sheets or even Word, you can have multiple columns and rows up, adjust the scaling to your liking, and all the content still maintains its sharpness. So productivity-wise, it's really useful and makes workflow a lot smoother. You can literally have four different windows open at the same time and everything is still sharp. You will have zero problems reading all the content. I think even for stock market monitoring, you can literally have four screens like in the vertical position and yeah, you can see everything easily. Meanwhile, for connectivity options, there is a USB port, two HDMI ports and a single DP port along with an audio out port on the back. Let me just touch on the stand. You can only adjust the tilt but the monitor is VESA compatible so you can mount this to a monitor arm for adjustability options and this is my personal opinion but you definitely should get the Arc Stealth Duo mount two PL270 side by side and you get a full working setup that just looks gorgeous. Well, for the screens at least. The controls are located on the bottom right and let's get into it now. For the controls, there's actually a quick switch button so you can change between DP, HDMI 1, HDMI 2 and also from here, you can adjust your brightness very easily. This is just a single button and the third button from here, you can change your picture profiles from standard to RTS, FPS, game, movie, photo, standard. So anyways, let's jump in back into the main menu where you can actually see all the options that are available. So first up, obviously, input source, you get your brightness and contrast, color settings, so you get gamma, you can change your picture modes from here also, color temperature, hue, saturation, and also one of the important things, low blue light. So this is very interesting because when you adjust this, it will change up the color temperature on the monitor. So it becomes a bit more yellowish. So you can choose what levels you want this to be on, but it's a very nice inclusion because with low blue light, it helps to protect your eyes a bit more going down to picture quality setting so you can adjust sharpness, response time, noise reduction, super resolution, dynamic luminous control. In the display you can change up the aspect ratio. For audio you can mute or change up the volume from here. You can go down to the OSD and change the language and the OSD position so you might not want in the middle you can move it to the side things like that and last but not least other. So this has free sync and also adaptive sync, HDR, cross, firmware update and just reset it back to its basic. So that's basically the OSD. All in all, if you are looking for a 27 inch monitor, especially for content creation, this ticks all the right boxes. From 4K to HDR10, 120% sRGB, there's really nothing to complain about this. Even the price at 459 SGD is very reasonable. You would be hard pressed to find anything else that offers all this here. Anyways, that's it for the video. I really enjoyed using this monitor and if you want to pick one up, I hope you do. Remember to like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!